it going, everyone? Yeah. This is my very first time on this stage. I'm, I'm 63 years. I should have been here a long time ago. But I have a new agent, so he's doing a good job. Uh, I said, the reason I'm wearing this URI t-shirt is my daughter is rowing in the A-10s tomorrow. And that is why I'm here. Um, hello to everyone out there in the streaming world. That's, they're probably like, what are you doing there in Saratoga Springs? And um, I'm super proud dad that she's going to be on the water tomorrow morning. So I can't go till midnight like we normally do in the PMB world. I can't play a 30 minute Rebecca. I mean, I could. That'd be the entire first set. So, um, but yeah, thank you for having me. Um, this is a really awesome town. We had a killer dinner over there at Danny Osteria's. So yeah, give it up for Danny. I don't know. I didn't meet Danny, but <laughs> anyway. Um, how you guys doing? Good? Early shout out to uh, Joe back at the soundboard, making it sound so nice. And Joel on the internet, doing it right. My son, uh, who, who is very rarely at shows, he's here tonight, and he asked me what was the first song you ever wrote, so I'll, I'll play that first. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's about being, my daughter's in college, I have two girls in college, it's about being in college and, and uh, seeing kids in college that sort of had to figure things out, and I roped it into one person, and I went to a very small school, so I didn't want to offend anyone, so I made up the name Rebecca. So. <laughs> Who's got all the answers to the questions that Rebecca has? She's been cluelessly wondering just how long she's been at. She knows more than you or me, never thinks she's wrong. All the tables not turning. Found a cell hurting. Yeah, for oh, so long. Anybody out there want to help Rebecca find a clue to life? Well, I guess she feels she was the victim. We are the night. If you know it, you can sing along. There's a price to pay when you put on that face. Roll the dice. One day soon, you realize. Yeah, the world, it ain't that nice. You all right, and you okay? Didn't anybody ever give care and you wait? Will you be all right after we go? Won't you tell me someday? I'll never know. on the wall so don't come in well even you and I know 
you can't You don't want to start this thing all over again Why don't you just travel on down that line Cause we don't have to let you in You seem to think you know it all Oh, let me tell you something Oh, you can win You all right And you okay Didn't anybody ever give care and you wait Will you be all right after we go? Won't you tell me someday? Oh, I'll never know. I'll never know. I'll never know. So how many of you here saw this song back in college in the 90s? Anyone here? All right. <laughs> Foggy memories? Not that long ago. Hey, Rebecca, this is your body speaking. You're about to land. We get all your answers, and you come to understand. People and things are always going to change. You can stop them now. Did you look back and let me know if you are all right? And are you okay? Didn't anybody ever give a care around your way? Will you be all right after we go? Won't you tell me someday? Oh, I'll never know. When I wrote this song, this is the only part I had. I played this for like a week straight. And I went. I was like, well, I'll fit that in there somewhere. And uh, shout out to Ed Sheeran for winning that court case. Because, you know, there's only so many chords you can use. I'm sure this is like a million other songs, but this would be a good time to insert an Ed Sheeran song, but I don't know any. So. <laughs> Disclaimer to Joe and Joel out there doing the sound. This is usually the encore, so if it gets real loud, I'm sorry on the first song. Sorry. All right, I'll do the end of the song. If you know it, sing it out and make those people down there having their fantastic meals on the sidewalk wondering why they're not up here. This is your pilot speaking. You're about to land. Louder, come on. Come to understand. You can't stop. Thank you. I do maybe two or three solo shows a year. 
and uh, this is like a great opportunity for me to sort of like, while I'm playing and I'm brought back to the way I wrote the song to begin with. And, uh, super fun, super challenging, but really more just a blast. And if you have requests, I made a set list, but it's kind of a joke. That was the only song I made. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if there's songs you really want to hear, um, my friends from York, come back home. I got you on that. You all right? All right. Very fitting. Overboard. I got you on that too. All right. Cool. On your way. Perfect. Too many to remember now. Stop. Stop there. That'll be the entirety of the first set. trying to channel my Jackson Brown. I saw Jackson Brown uh, in Providence, and he had 26 acoustic guitars on stage. And that's not an exaggeration. That's the exact count. I counted. I was like, 26 guitars? Jackson. Now, we talked about after the show. We, were, we had the lucky, the fortune to go talk to him. I just was like, wow, just wow. Feel bad for your guitar tech, all the people that work for you. How do you know which one to play for each song? But, yeah. This guitar was made by a friend of mine, uh, Jack Cobes, uh, North Carolina. Uh, he gave it to me as a gift. And, uh, I mean, talk about the gift that keeps on giving. It's really, um, it's an amazing thing to get an instrument from somebody. I'm sensing you guys play music. No, somebody at this table. Yeah, yeah I can sense it. <laughs> when I was about your age, I went to a place called the Birchmere in Alexandria, Virginia. And I saw four guys sit on stools. I'd never seen that before and play song after song. And they told stories about the way they wrote the songs. And my mind was completely blown. I didn't know that that much went into a song. Each guy was, some guys were sort of like three chord guys, but the song was incredible. Some guys were like virtuoso. And everything about it was just like, I didn't know this existed. I knew, I know about this, but I didn't know the rest of it. I was like, my mind was just, I, it changed everything for me. So um, I hope uh, I'm gonna channel that energy because I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm like, I was that age. That was like five years ago. Speaking of five years ago, uh, my daughter is uh, the coxswain for the UI rowing team. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Uh, she's uh, rowing tomorrow morning. And uh, she, um, when she was about five years old, her older sister was learning how to ride a bicycle and it was terrifying. She was watching her wreck all the time and she, I used to, let her sit on my lap and ride around the neighborhood on our, in our truck and, and uh, in Rhode Island and very like low-key neighborhood where you could get away with that kind of thing. And um, she woke me up at 5 a.m. one morning and said, yesterday was a tough one for me. <laughs> Five-year-old kid voice, right? Tiny little voice. And I'm like, what? Oh, what? Why? She said, well, I don't want to learn how to ride a bike. I'd rather just drive the car. It looks terrifying. <laughs> So let's just skip the bike altogether and go right to driving the car. And, um, and that was, uh, her name's Elizabeth, but we call her Ellie. And um, I, I was like, all right, Ellie, just go back to bed. We'll talk about this in a couple hours. And I laid in bed um, as a parent of a second child does, never go back to sleep. And uh, I thought about what it was going to be like when she's going to get her license, and she was a pipsqueak of a little girl. I thought, man, this is not this is gonna be scary when she drives. And um, not only did she learn how to drive, but she ended up learning how to drive boats for the URI rowing team. And it's like unbelievable to me that where she's taken that skill and that mindset. So this goes out to the Rams and Ellie and her coxing tomorrow.
Yesterday's a tough one is what she said. Oh, Elizabeth, come help me out to bed. Today's the day we're taking off the wheels. Here we're trading in those training ones for steel. This is you and me, girl. Come on, let them squeal. Elizabeth, around her ear. Elizabeth, see you next year. Elizabeth, don't lose yourself. Learning how to fly, Elizabeth. Yeah, girl, you know the world breaks you down. It will dress you up and show you how to frown. You don't always have to let them in. Inside your head, none underneath your skin. Just let it go and try to smile again. Elizabeth, we're out of here. Elizabeth, see you next year. Elizabeth, don't do it yourself. Learning how to fly. Leave it all far behind. Elizabeth, you just might find. Everything looks better when you open up those eyes. Seeing everything. Standing right in front of you for the first time in your life. Feels fitting I should play this song for six minutes and about 45 seconds because I think that's what they need to win tomorrow. <laughs> Seeing everything for the first time in your life. Saratoga Springs for the first time in her life. She's gonna get on that boat at the crack of ass while we're still sleeping in the hotel room. Roll on up for the victory. Elizabeth, we're out of here. Elizabeth, see you next year. Elizabeth, don't lose yourself. Learning how to fly. Leave it all far behind. Elizabeth, you just might find. Everything looks better when you open up those eyes. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, oh no. My Elizabeth. Thank you. Appreciate that.